tell the mama, and all praise and glory to the most high power of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. I'm going to be praised for everything. Say hello, y'all, to his glorious and holy name. And the water, thank you for allowing us to see a day closer to the kingdom. The day allow us to get it together. And we're going to be worthy to make it to the kingdom. It's very, very important, people. Never forget the fact that a lot of people didn't make it to this day. That's why, you know, what I was going through, uh, as I would call the righteous women's scriptures, it's very important that uh, you look at this and understand either you do what it says, do you accept what it says, or you're wicked. And for the men, too. Husbands and men that's operating this truth, operating with the Bible, how are you supposed to operate? Look at uh, Colossians three seventeen as always. Whatsoever you do in word or deed, do all by Hashem, my shall shine. Give me thanks to the Most High and the Father by Hashem, my shall shine. So all I'm saying to do is gonna be in the name of the Lord and Savior, going to the Most High on our behalf, so we can thank the Most High. For everything that he's going to be praised for everything. So I'm going to look at uh, Ecclesiastes 5 and 1. So we get an understanding of rules and regulations all throughout the Bible. Because it wasn't here, then the Most High would not have, have had it written for us to learn. Ecclesiastes 5 and 1. It says, Keep that foot when thou goeth to the house of the Most High, and be more ready to hear than to give the sacrifice of fools. For they consider not that they do evil. So it's telling you it's better for you to come, you know, the people are children of Israel, we the church. So when you come into the house of the Most High, you come as we assemble ourselves together, it's better to hear than to make the sacrifice of fools. Make yourself look like a fool. So you don't, and the people don't consider the fact that they're actually doing evil because it's contrary to the said of most side. It's very important. To be not rash with thy mouth. And let not thine heart and should your mind be hasty to utter anything before the Most High? And everything that we say, I mean, I hope you understand why I go to Colossians 3.17 every time I break out this Bible and I'm rolling every day. You should too. In every way. In the name of the Lord and Savior. My check up shot going to the Most High. In the Most High, sitting forth His power, His spiritual power to guide us and to bring forth whatever it is that's going to be brought forth. He said, whatever you do and say, do it all in the name of the Lord and Savior. That's what I told us. No man comes to the Father but by him. So you are before the Most High at this time and all the time that we rolling in this Bible by Shalom Mashiach Yahushai point blank. That's just the way it is. But I don't think you understand that. A lot of people don't understand that. Because you start out with that, you go, you roll it with the most high, you say hey, everything we say, you before the most high, let's go to the throne of the most high. You don't want to. There's something wrong. That's why it says, listen what he says. Go back to one. Keep that foot when thou go in the house of the most high. Know how to conduct yourself. Know how you're supposed to be walking. In the light. And not in darkness. Ignorance. And be more ready to hear than to give the sacrifice of fools. Sound like a fool. For they consider not that they do evil. So you don't consider that you are doing evil before the Most High. Be not rash with thy mouth, and let not thine heart be hasty to utter anything before the Most High. Everything that you can utter 
is we learn the lessons and so forth, is before the Most High. That's what Colossians 3.17 is all about. For the Most High is in heaven and thou upon earth. Therefore let thy words be few. Get what he said? Let your words be few. For a dream coming through the multitude of business. You're doing this, you're doing that, that's you know you dream about certain things. And a fool's voice is known by multitude of words. See, a fool's voice is known by multitude of words. I remember uh, I was told a story about this cat. He was, uh, he walked around with this alto saxophone case. He'd walk up in the studio, his head up, walk around at it, case. Everybody looking, he didn't say nothing. Just look at him, just nod, he didn't say nothing. Now I said, sounds pretty good. Walk out. One day, somebody confronted him. Hey man, pull out your saxophone and go in there and play. Saxophone. Open up, it was a bar. <laughs> and all this time, they thought he was a bad saxophone player. But he opened it up, it was a bar. <laughs> he didn't say nothing, you know, but hey, just show y'all. Not saying something, you could be constructed with something that you're not. So it says, uh, verse 6, it says, Suffer not the, thy mouth to cause thy flesh to sin. So you hear what it's saying? So things you say can cause you to sin. Say this way, say, suffer not thy mouth to cause thee to sin. Neither say thou before the angel that it was an error. Wherefore should the Most High be angry at thy voice and destroy the works of thine hands? He would have said, don't be telling the angel, the spirit, hey, it was, I did it in error. That's why you gotta think. That's why he says it's better to be here than to be running your mouth. It's very important. Summon not thy mouth to cause thee thy flesh to sin. Neither say thou before the angel that it was an error. Wherefore should the most high be angry at thy voice? Wow. And destroy the works of thine hands. So you most I be angry just hearing your voice. Hearing you speaking. Remember it says, you don't realize you're doing evil. And most I hear your voice and say, that's evil. Come before me. And destroy everything you're trying to do. For in the multitude of dreams, and many words, there are also diverse or different vanities, but fear thou the most high. So we say the multitude of dreams and many words, there are also diverse, different kinds of worthless things that you bring forth. From what? From your mouth. Insane. But fear the Allah most high. It's very important, people. You know, you know, we know you don't want to fall into 
the anger of the Most High. That's not good because look what he said. You hear what it's over and over again, as I always tell you. It's about fearing the Most High, being afraid of the Most High, doing what he say do, following instructions, learning how to be in order so that we can grow as a nation. Otherwise, you're going to have habit and chaos in your life. Proverbs 1 and 7. The fear of the most high is the beginning of knowledge. But fools despise wisdom and instruction. See, that's why you that's how you know a fool. You you try and show them the wisdom, which is the proper application of knowledge, how to fear the most high. But see, everybody wants to just look at man when it's not man, it's the most high that you despise. And that's gonna get angry with you and deal with you behind what you do to those that he have called for to speak for him in these last days, the prophets. Verse 3, I mean, excuse me, 5. A wise man will hear. It will increase learning. But if you, you can't hear if you're running your mouth, you talking, how you going to hear and talk at the same time? There's a time and place for everything. It says, a wise man will hear and will increase learning. And a man of understanding shall attain unto wise counsels. You hear that? A man of understanding is going to attain to wise counsels. Counsels as the wisdom of the Most High according to this word that's coming to you. But you got to be instructed. You have to learn instruction. Being told what to do. Ecclesiastes 15 and 1. In the Apocrypha, Ecclesiastes 15 and 1. He that feared the most high will do good. And he that hath the knowledge of the law shall obtain her. See? If you fear the most high, you will do all right. And he that hath the knowledge of the law shall obtain her. Verse 3. With the, with the bread of understanding shall she feed him. And give him the water of wisdom to drink. See? Do this word. A good scripture is verse 11. It says, Say not thou, don't say, It is through the Most High that I fell away. Don't say it's because of the most high that you fell away. For thou art not to do the things that he hated. See, don't say it's because of the most high while you fell away. Because you ought not to do the things that he hated. And what he hated, he hated all abomination. All filthy wicked acts. All sins against his commandments. Say not thou, he have caused me to err. For he have no need of the sinful man. I don't need of you. If you breaking his laws as commandments, don't say he. Don't blame it on him. Cause you wicked as ever. He have no need of the sinful man. The most I hated all abomination. You hear that? The most I hated all abominations, which are sins, which are breaking or transgressing his laws. And being wicked and evil. The Most High hated all abomination. And they that fear the Most High love it not. So you fear the Most High, then you're going to be against those that are creating abominable things and that's doing abominable things and that's actually, you can see it, you're going to hate that. 
You have a right, right to hate that. Most High hate all abominations. So how you gonna roll with the Most High and you love abomination? You gonna let it slide? No, you can't let it slide. You gotta call it like it is. Let the chips fall, fall where they're gonna fall. The Most High hated all abominations. And they that fear the Most High love it not. You hear that? You fear the Most High, you don't love no abominable things. That's against the Most High. And the Mashiach got shot. Verse 20. He have commanded no man to do wickedly. Hear that? He have commanded no man to do wickedly. You out there doing wicked things because that's what you want to do. You the one that said, that's why I said, don't come to the angel and tell me I'm in air. Most I say, gonna be angry and gonna bring destruction. Because you know better. We know better. He have commanded no man to do wickedly. Neither has he given any man rights in the sin. Hmm. But, most I gave no man license to sin. But who will give you a license to sin? Let's read about one case scenario. <laughs> With someone giving someone a license to sin, right? That's deep. So the most high gave no man license to sin. But somebody did. And we're going to look at who it was. Let's go to 1 Maccabees during the time that the Greeks took down the Persian and Median Empire and Alexander the Greek came into power and he died after serving for 20 years old or 32 years old and he set up his four generals but let's see what happened go to 1st Maccabees the first chapter Mosiah gave a man license to sin right <laughs> but look Go to 1 Maccabees 1 and 9, it says, and after his death, talking about Alexander the Greek, in the Bible, in the Apocrypha, that the Protestant church took out. It says, and after his death, Alexander the Greek, the first emperor of the Greek Empire, they all put crowns upon themselves. That's his four generals that he set up before he died to take over his kingdom. So did their sons after them. So their sons had rulership after them too. Many years. And evils will multiply in the earth. Hear that? They came into power. The Greeks came into power and said evils will multiply in the earth. Job 9.24 says, The earth was given to the hand of the wicked. He covered the faces of the judges there. If not, where in who is it? So look, verse 10. And there came out of them a wicked root. Antiochus, surname Epiphanes. Let you know. Wicked root. Earth is given to the hand of the wicked. A wicked root, an Edomite, so called Caucasian man, Antiochus, surname Epiphanes, son of Antiochus, the king who had been in hostage at Rome, and he reigned in the hundred and thirty and seventh year of the kingdom of the Greeks. Think it no clearer than that. The Greeks took down the Persian Median Empire as their first kingdom. He reigned in the hundred and thirty and seventh year, hundred and thirty seventh year of the kingdom of the Greeks. Okay, listen. In those days went there out of Israel. We hear because most of us say he'll give no man license to sin. In those days there went out of Israel wicked men, Israelites that were wicked as hell, who persuaded many, saying, Let us go and make a covenant or agreement or contract with the heathen. But the most I told us in Jeremiah 10 and 2, learn not the way of the heathen. But when they said, let's make a covenant, let's make an agreement or contract with the heathen that are round about us. For since we departed from them, we have had much sorrow. See that? So this device pleased them well. Say, hey, let's go make a covenant with the heathen. 
Since we left from agreeing with them and following them, we have had much sorrow. So it pleased them well. Listen, verse 13. Listen to this clearly. Then certain of the people were so forward therein that they went to the king who gave them license to do after the ordinances of the heathen. Most of them give nobody a license here. So, but this king Antiochus, remember he said he was walked by the earth, gave him a license to do abominable things. Because all the gods in the nations are what? Idols. So look, first thing it said, whereupon they built a place of exercise at Jerusalem according to the customs of the heathen and made themselves uncircumcised and forsook the holy covenant. And this uncircumcised, if they were circumcised, not talking about necessarily, you know, because our boys were circumcised, the children were circumcised on the eighth day. This is talking about leaving the law, that commandments of the Most High. That's why you see the Israelites, by the time you get to Matthew, this is between Malachi and Matthew. This, the Israelites, after the Persian Median Empire, going to the Greek Empire, you don't see. By the time you get to Matthew, you're in the Roman Empire. The Greeks were in power first, where we at here. Then the Romans, they came into power. And that's when the Mashiach Shai was born during the Roman Empire. So this is what they did. So you let you know, hey, they, they built a place of exercise, these gems and so forth, of, at Jerusalem, according to the customs of the heathens. That's the custom of the heathens. And made themselves uncircumcised and forsook the holy covenant and joined themselves to the heathen and were sold to do mischief. See? Sold to do mischief. So, and see, when you understand, the Most High told us not to do this because it would take our mind away from following Him. But we always got to do the opposite of what He said, like He didn't know what He was talking about. Just as it is today, we have those that have a little bit of knowledge, wisdom and understanding, now they know everything. We know in part and prophesy in part. Don't believe it. You can believe if you want to. But when we put to the test, you'll find that there's something that all of us don't know that somebody else might know or do know. We know in part, we prophesy in part. Look at uh, Psalms 106. 35. Go mingle among the heathen. Psalm 106, 35. Go mingle among the heathen and learn their works. Just like you just we just read how we learn the Greeks' work. Looking for a way to sin and to be accepted. As it is today, our people are doing everything. Because you ain't under the law. You taught you ain't under the law. You ain't got to follow the most high. You say and forget the Most High and all the work that He did in giving us moral laws, civil laws, dietary laws, ceremonial laws. You say, I don't need to do that. I ain't got to do that. And the Most High give me mercy and grace, even though I just say, forget you, Most High. That's what you're saying to Him. And you tell Him, you don't have to follow His laws, that's commandments. His work was in vain. Oh, no. You're going to make the Most High angry? And then in the end, no matter how it looks, you might think you're being blessed now, but oh boy, when that just become and that fire get on your butt, what you gonna do there? Because it's coming. If you ain't following this law, that's commandments, you eating pork, shrimp, crab, lots of your Israelite, he gonna kill you. You better read your Bible and understand it. Isaiah 66 and 15 down, so he coming with fire. You consume those that eat the pork, the mouse, the, any abomination. That's what those that eat them on. That's the dietary laws. He got something for you. In all aspects of his laws, you break them, the end result is you got to pay. We all got to pay, one way or the other. You're going to pay now, you're going to pay later, but you're going to pay. Thus say the Most High in his word. So we will mingle among the heathen like we are today and learn their works. And they serve their idols.
see, the things that the heater was doing, we did the same thing, served the same thing. Which was a snare unto them. Yeah, they sacrificed their sons and their daughters and the devils. Man, gave our sons and our daughters to devils. Man. And shed innocent blood, even the blood of their sons and of their daughters, whom they sacrificed unto the idols of Canaan. And the land was polluted with blood. That's where they defiled their own works and went a whoring with their own inventions. Therefore was the wrath of the Most High kindled against his people, insomuch that he abhorred his own inheritance. That's we the children of Israel. The wrath of the Most High came upon us for what? Breaking his laws, such commandments, following the ways of the heathen. And you think you're going to follow what it is that has been presented to you? In this day, with all these different religions, I challenge any of you that's dealing with religion. Come with your Bible. And we'll see if what you believe in your religion is true or not. According to thus said the Most High. Not boasting, but just for real. Because our people got to be woken up. And because they, they sleep. You know, something happened, they wake up. Look, oh, why you see that? Next thing you know, back to sleep. Like somebody giving you some kind of sleeping pills or something. Continually. What's wrong with our people? We the chosen people of the most high. Don't accept that. Oh, what about this people? What about that? Mainly they're concerned about the so called white man. That's the main people that are people that are concerned with. Why? I guess it's been a album plan from the Willie Lynch letter. Stockholm Central, try the religious instructions to the Negroes, the United States of America. You try between those three things, oh yeah, they got us. But you tell a lot of people, hey, you the, you the real Israelites, you the, you the people of the book. Oh yeah? They're about to do whatever they're doing. Going one ear and out the other. They might not even go in here, might go in their nose. They might smell it. I don't know. They can't hear. <laughs> they deaf. I mean, they, that's why the scriptures say, hear the prayer of the dead Israelites. Dead Israelites. In a dead state of mind. It's real though. This is what happened to us. Therefore was the wrath, verse 40, therefore was the wrath of the Most High kindled against his people insomuch that he abhorred his own inheritance. And he gave them into the hand of the heathen. And they that hated them, you want to be like the ones that hate you, rule over them. Come on. That's what you want? Yeah, our people love us so. Give them a little prestige, they gone. Heck with you. I'm out of here. And in the end, it's going to be wailing and gnashing of teeth, as Masha Kelshai said. But you don't want to hear that, but that's real. That's real as real can be. That's why you got to get yourself together before the Most High visits you, the wrath of the Most High come upon you. What you going to do then when he, when he comes to you? What you going to do then? Look at uh, Ecclesiastes 7, in verse 1. It says, A good name is better than precious ointment in the day of death than the day of one's birth. You know? When you got to be born in hell, a condition called hell, say, A man's death is better than the day of birth. Y'all celebrating birthday. Most I said death is better than birthday than when you was born in this world of wickedness where everybody's eating of the tree of knowledge of good and evil. See, a good name is better than precious ointment. And the day of death than the day of one's birth. Verse 2, I mean, excuse me, 3. 
Saul was better than Malcolm. But by the sadness of the continents, the artist made better. That's why the most high, I mean, if Saul was better than Malcolm, man, we should have a whole lot of understanding in Saul. But we were laughing for over 400 years. Except for the, the Sambos, Stephen Fletchers. But the real men, that's why you see most of the pictures though, you see most of the pictures of they, 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 they frown, they look them down. Look at them, I mean, Jesse, Jesse uh, Jackson looked just like that. His mouth like that. Let's go down. Look at him. Take a look at a picture of him now. It's sad. But well, see, we don't know who we are. We don't know we the children of Israel. The majority of the people don't know. Because they be saying it. They be proclaiming it. Some scared because they done signed oaths with, like they say, they learned to wear the heat. They done signed sign oaths with the heat. But they can't say it. The priest has seven and seven. Now verse uh, five. It is better to hear the rebuke of the wise than for a man to hear the song of fools. See, it's better to hear the rebuke, the rebuke by a wise man than hear the song of fools. Like this rap music that he's rapping about now, just straight silly crap. Have no meaning at all. How you what you gonna learn from it? I'll tell you one of the baddest rappers. I mean, we used to have conscious rap. Now, if you look at uh, uh Lauren Hill unplugged, oh yeah, she was putting it down. There wasn't no songs in the food. I don't know where she at now, but you look, you used to go to YouTube and type in the search engine. Lauren Hill, unplugged. I believe that's the name of it. She was putting it down. Look at those lyrics, or even look at the lyrics. What she was saying. She was putting it down. He pleased after seven and seven. Surely oppression make of a wise man mad. And the gift destroy up the heart. So oppression make a wise man mad. And you be oppressed. Yeah, but that'll mean you're supposed to stay mad. But yeah, oppression make a wise man mad. Seeing the oppression of our people. You have any kind of spirit in you. But look what it said. Verse 9. Be not hasty, don't be so fast in thy spirit to be angry. Don't be so fast to be angry. Do he say, hey? Surely a president make a wise man mad. Say, don't be so fast, so quick to be in your spirit to be angry. For anger rests in the bosom of fools. See, you can be mad. Most I said, don't let the sun go down upon your anger, right? Upon your wrath, right? You gotta let it go, or else you shorten your life. Look at uh, Ecclesiastes 7 and 26. He said, I find more bitter than death. What could be more bitter than death? He said, I find more bitter than death the woman. Woo. And I find more bitter than death the woman whose heart is snares and nets, traps, and her hands as bands, who pleases, who so pleases the Most High, 
shall escape from her, but the sinner shall be taken by her. Hear that? I find more bitter than death. What could be more bitter than death? The woman. Wow. See, I find more bitter than death the woman. You know what I mean? He can say this. He can say this. He can drop this knowledge. I don't think he can. Look. <laughs> so you know what we're talking about. For the first king, love. One. He can speak on it. But King Solomon, who dropping Ecclesiastes, loved many strange women, together with the daughter of Pharaoh, women of the Moabites, Ammonites, all these are heathen, outside of the 12 tribes of Israel, Edomites, Zidonians, Hittites, of the nations concerning which the Most High said unto the children of Israel, ye shall not go into them. Neither shall they come in unto you. For surely they will turn away your heart from actually turn away your heart after their gods, after their idols, Solomon claiming these in love. Just a moment. 